Today on FinChoot, we're going to learn how to use data that came about as a result of the Dodd-Frank Act in the US. Dodd-Frank came about due to the global financial crisis with government legislating that more was to be done in terms of transparency to prevent what occurred ever happening again. If you want to find out more about the Dodd-Frank Act on the Bloomberg terminal, type Dodd Frank and it will take you straight through to news on Dodd-Frank reg regulation in particular uh, Dodd-Frank Wall Street reform and the Consumer Protection Act however today what we want to go through is one of the externalities of that act which was the creation of an SDR or swap data repository The Swap Data Repository reports all trades that have been mandated by the Dodd-Frank Act. I'm going to focus on FX today, however, it covers a series of other areas which we'll go into. So to find SDR data or all the trades reported in the US, simply type Swap Data and it'll bring up Swap Data Trade Activity. Click on SDR and straight away you'll see it covers credit, rates, FX, commodities, equity. If we look at FX, you can see it brings it covers the underlying, the style of option, the strike of the option, when it expires, the face value, currency, premium paid, and the style, and most importantly, when the deal was dealt. What it does not include is exotic barriers. So we don't know where the barrier is, we just know how much was paid for it. If I wanted to check a deal, and let's say for example we're looking at AUD USD, and I'm going to put vanilla here, I can sort by uh, that option. I can also sort them by the face value and by the Aussie and what you can see is the strike it's a put and it has a notional of 40 million dollars if I then click on right click on vanilla I can go OVML and that's going to bring up Bloomberg's option pricer and what I can do here is see that the premium reported was 690 thousand dollars and that most likely says to me that somebody sold this option as opposed to there being a net buy because the price is less than the bid which means a market maker bought the option they didn't sell the option now that's interesting in itself because what it does is provide a little bit of a guide and someone here has a view that the currency is not going a lot lower I can exit this and then if I want to get some more information I can go to SDRV or swap derivative volumes. What Bloomberg has done is start to take this swap data and build a story around it or some analysis. If I choose Aussie and then turn off all amounts I can get a really nice feel for what's being dealt lately around the Australian dollar. So firstly, on the left hand side I have options, all currencies and total volumes and this is saying 6.6 6, uh, billion has been dealt in just today. In the Aussie it's been 399 million. This is a th half of what it normally is around this time which means the market has probably got itself up prepping for another number. On the right hand side I've got a chart of ongoing volume and you can see that the volume has been quite high in Aussie uh, especially over the last couple of days where we've moved from 2 billion up to 5 billion. Down the bottom then I can see my average volume at time chart and so what we're looking at is whatever the time is now is the volume being dealt more or less than normal. This is handy on days where volatility seems to exist for no apparent reason and straight away you can start to get a feel that the reason that may be is because there's a large amount of option trades being dealt in the background that you may not see. The final part of 
um, SDR and what Bloomberg have done with the swap data repository data is to build a strike report. If I go in and type OMST, enter, this is going to bring up a strike report for, and I've chosen the Aussie in this case, and it's going to show me all new trades. If I click on outstanding, it's going to show me all outstanding trades for the currency, which at the moment are at $90 billion. But then I'm really interested in an expiry report. So what's going to expire shortly or even or better still today? And what I can see is filtering by one day, I can see all of my option expiries today that have been dealt in the US market or with a US counterparty. And these are all due now. If I drill in, I can see that my Aussie dollar put with a 97.50 strike, there are three trades there that total $615 million. Uh, if I go to the left of that, I can see there's a $50 million 94 cent strike and so on and so forth. So what we've covered today has been uh, SDR, SDR which swap. We also covered looking at the Dodd Frank Act on the terminal, uh, on the terminal. Then we looked at swap data repository view and how we can see the volume being dealt through the terminal now. And then we covered off OMST, which is most active options and shows me my recent strikes. Thank you for listening and this has been another episode of finchute.com.